In a world where competition is fierce and first impression matter, your online portfolio can be the game changer you've been looking for. It's not just about showcasing your work, it's about creating an immersive experience that leaves a lasting impact. Clients and employers can be blown away by the interactive experience, it's like they step right into your creative world. Hi everyone, I'm Victoria, product designer and AR creator, and welcome to my creative hub. Today we are going to build a super cool eye-catching 3D portfolio website, easy, fast, with no code. I want to mention that in this video I want to teach you what to write in case studies, how to organize website as portfolio. Today is all about pure creativity with 3D for websites. I want to show you that it's easy, fun and worth trying it. Just take a look at this mind-blowing website. They'll make you want to stick around, they keep you engaged, eager to explore and learn more about the talented individual behind them, right? So let's begin to create our own one. First of all, let's create a 3D interactive scene, which then will be added to the website. For it, go to spline.io, it's a web platform to design 3D with a very user-friendly interface. In Spline, you can see a lot of nice 3D objects that uh, you can modify and use on your website or create from scratch, as we are going to do now. And there are two ways for you to create 3D scene. Create all 3D objects by yourself in Spline or other software that will be longer but no less fun and exciting. Second option, go to Sketchfab or TurboSquid 3D libraries and find their 3D objects that you can use for your idea. I usually follow two approaches. First, I browse through the Spline library. If what I need is available there, I use it. Otherwise, I create it myself. Alternatively, I search for something that uh, would have taken a long time to create. In the project, you can add not only 3D in those formats, but also video, images and music. I prepared some objects from Sketchfab in advance to save time. Every object you can rotate, scale and move. I added the main object and now I'm going to add a floor to the scene and the desk doesn't float in the air. To make adjustments to the selected object, including changes to its color and other modifications, look at the right sidebar. The sidebar contains all the settings related to the selected object, with essential options such as position. This allows you to precisely change the object's position, scale and rotation. Snapping. This feature helps objects align with specific points or objects in the scene. Shape. Here you can modify the object's shape and geometry. Material. This section offers a variety of options to enhance the object's appearance. You can adjust factors like color, texture and lightning, which greatly impact how the object looks. Additionally, you can create multiple materials and experiment to find the one that best suits your needs. By clicking the play button in the top menu, you can preview the scene and get a glimpse of how it will appear on the website. In the play mode, you can resize the preview to see how your objects would appear on different screens. It also allows you to preview animations and interactions that we will be adding shortly. Now it's time to add interactivity to our project. You can include various elements such as social media links, project links, music, videos and let your creativity flow. The process is similar for each of these elements, ensuring a consistent and engaging user experience. I am placing Instagram icon to add a link to my account and I'll add a hover effect to the icon so users can easily understand that it's interactive. You also can add some additional signs of interactivity. In Splan you have two main options for adding animations, actions or micro-interaction, states and events. States allow you to define different conditions for an object, while events work with these states to create interactions, animations and other actions. Thank you. 
I'm adding a speaker to the object and background music that will be attached to the speaker. The speaker will be act as a trigger to stop the music. I'll create two states and make an event transition to indicate when the speaker is providing sound. And then set up an action, such as a mouse press or mouse down, to turn off the music. Let's say everything is on the place and the scene is ready. It's time to prepare export and add this 3D to our website. You should determine whether you need a background or if it should be transparent. You can change the background on the right panel by clicking on the scene, not the object. I was pleasantly surprised by the export options in Spline. You can export your 3D project in various ways, including a link to display just the 3D content, a score to embed on websites, as an image, video, 3D formats, and even for AR or 3D printing. For now, we need the Viewer option. After selecting it, configure the play settings as needed. Before exporting, it's important to run a test to ensure that your scene is optimized and will load them quickly on your website. If you have heavy objects in your project, as I have, consider replacing or optimizing them. The run test will identify any performance issues that need attention. Once everything is adjusted to your liking, click Update Viewer and then copy the embed code. Finally, we can implement our 3D content on our website. I will demonstrate how to do this using the Tilda Website Builder. But you can follow a similar process on the other website builders such as Pix, WordPress and others. I'll create a new page and for demonstration I'll select one of the templates. I've chosen this nice white orange one. I open to edit first block, change a bit position of elements and uh, I want to the first block will be the same background color as my 3D. So I copy background color from spline. To add 3D content, choose add HTML and paste embedded code. Then save block changes and click preview. So now we can see our CD on website. With Spline you can easily create games, characters and abstract 3D backgrounds for your or client's websites. The possibilities are almost endless. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video informative and inspiring. If you enjoy it and want to stay updated with the more exciting content like this, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Until next time, take care and stay creative!